Well, it's a topic that covers the nation's economic prospects, the ability to protect and defend ourselves, and in some ways, it's a measure of confidence, the citizens' confidence, and that's fertility. Last week, Gallup posted an article titled Fertility, Marriage, and the Power of Social Norms, Societal Norms. I want to bring in now IWF Vice President for uh, Policy, Hatley Heath Manning. All right, so, you know, one thing, Hatley, I got to tell you, I was a little bit shocked when I learned that only 8% of Americans say they did not want children and are not and are, and are content not having them. I thought the number was a lot higher. What are your thoughts there? Well, this is where there's a disconnect, Charles, between people's desires and people's outcomes or people's behaviors. So, yes, we still see, as has been the case traditionally across generations, that there's a small group of people who say they never want to have children. Overwhelmingly, people express the desire to have children. Unfortunately, what we've seen in the most recent generation or two is that many people who desire to have children, who set out in life thinking, I'll become a mom, I'll become a dad, they end up with a different outcome. They end up being childless, and that's not a choice. That's often involuntary and the result of not finding the right partner or um, not being able to have children later in life if right. they planned on completing a career or a degree first. But it's, it's a variety of factors. It's very unfortunate, though, because there's a lot of, of grief and heartbreak around this issue. And I can tell you, one of the areas we saw this really start to split apart was the, the global financial crisis. It really took a toll on our birth rates. Uh, we've got a chart here. It shows where, where the trend was going, then after the global financial crisis, where it is now in the red. And now, of course, we've come out of a, another difficult fire. We're in a difficult uh, economic environment. The, ec the economics of this saying, well, it's just too expensive. How much is that playing a role? Well, I think the expectations on parents today uh, around both finances and our time and energy commitments to raising children are different from what they were a couple of generations ago. This places a, a big burden on parents and I think often projects to younger people that parenting is a drag or parenthood is a, a burden when in reality, of course, it's a great blessing. Right. And I would say that the, the economic factors are certainly there. But we have seen a decrease in fertility since the mid-1970s. Um, of course, the greater availability of birth control is a factor. Uh, women's greater participation in the workforce right. is a factor. But I would say the single most important factor, Charles, in our fertility crisis is actually a marriage crisis. Married couples are more likely to have children and more likely to have more children. Um, a two-parent married household is the best environment for children. And so what we're seeing downstream of a marriage crisis is a reduced number of births and a reduced number of children. You know, in the 70s, too, we saw where everyone was getting nervous that Paul Ehrlich had this book called The Population Bomb of 68 about harming the planet. We're hearing a lot of kids talk about that. You only have 15 seconds, but to what degree is that hurting? People saying, I don't want to have children because I want to save the planet. You know, I think some of that is still there, but the reality, Charles, is that there will be implications from our population bust not just for our government budgets and for our economy, but we will experience a lot less joy in this world because of the reduced number of children. We need a future generation for our workforce to become taxpayers, to take care of us in our old age. Mm -hmm. And so I'm hopeful that we can turn things around. At least the desire for children is still there, according to the polls. It always starts with desire. Hadley, thank you so much.